but they need it to be true because maybe they get something off of uh the the attack i don't know they um they they pledge their allegiance allegiance it's their form of pledging allegiance to whatever a collective is god uh oh, it is that they, i'll, that they I'll tell you what they get i'll tell you what they get from this eric they get for a brief moment to feel like they've got some power over somebody because their lives are fucking miserable mm. and they are miserable and they are sad and perpetually depressed because they spend their whole eternal fucking life involved in this thinking that this is their life being misery 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 they're probably on antidepressants. They probably stick them up their ass like a suppository. Mm. They are fucking miserable, sad, lonely, pathetic people that can't formulate their own opinions because they're stuck in a group that if you have one bad, one bad fucking... Oh, you're fucking out. Deviation, you're out of there. You're fucking out. You're out of there. And they live in perpetual fear, absolute fucking perpetual fear of having their own mind. Boy, we've seen a lot of that, man. Like we have seen a lot of that in in multiple spaces of people that know some shit's fucked up, even even if it, if if, uh, if it's internally. Um, but because they boss deep into this, man, they gonna keep fucking putting up with this fucking charade uh, that is. And maybe that's what it is. It's like better them than me, better better her than me, better better yeah. whatever. Um, if, you, if you're always attacking somebody, it takes the pressure away from you potentially being attacked. Mm. It's group mentality horseshit. Mm. It's as if you're coerced into attacking your neighbor so that they don't have to do it. And then by time they've been so fucking beaten down and dehumanized, you can fucking stick them in camps and gas them in their millions. Funny how that works, huh? Nah, something like that, Eric, would never happen in real life. It never never happened in real life. Nah, it would no never idea. happen in real fucking life, that. <laughs> that would never happen in real life. It never, never has. <laughs> hundreds of millions of dead people. Hundreds yeah. of... It never... No, no. no. no well, yeah, we do have historical evidence of this stuff happening. But, you know, I, I think if Why nothing that? else, it's the... It, it does show the dangers of this sort of hive mind collectivistic line of thinking, right? That, to me, is fucking miserable, right? I, I couldn't imagine being... This is one thing I love what it is that that we do, um, especially in the space that we float around and that everybody kind of has that not kind of everybody is free to disagree. Whereas to, with some other people. Right. It's I, I, to me, that would be a miserable existence to have to be floating around a space or be involved in. a. It's almost a cult. It might as well be where, you know, you recognize if you deviate. At any fucking point, you're done. Like I couldn't, I couldn't imagine waking up, living in that fucking world, right? Where where I can't say shit, I can't have my own line of thinking. And should I have that line of thinking, everything's everything's gonna fall apart. It's cool. I'm gonna be thrown under the bus by people I thought were my fucking mm-hmm. allies. I'm gonna do that, that's not a way to live, bro. That's not a way to live. Shout out Dan. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, can we get rid of? Can somebody kick sheep sit in? Please? <laughs> This is what, <laughs> but see, that's the thing. I'm, we're okay with that, and it is a it's a better way to live. And b- believe it or not, most people used to live this way. I don't know what happened if it was a social media aspect. Well, um, what happened was uh, a lot of our differences didn't mean too much because we understood the commonalities that we had. Mm, yeah, and that's how we used to live our lives. We used to live our lives with. Uh, dealing with this, the stuff that we have in common as opposed to the stuff which separates us because it makes for a better life. Social media was constructed to cause arguments for engagement. That is, that is how it was. That is legitimate. That's not even bullshit. Social media was created with uh, small bursts so that context and nuance couldn't be used, which would then cause division and arguments which would raise engagement because people would be inclined to go like that. Yeah. So then we started to develop a, a, a fucking whole generation of people who were brought up on arguing and arguing and arguing and arguing. Difference, 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 difference. And our commonalities got pushed to one side. We might have differences on certain things, but we would most likely, 95% of the time, be discussing stuff we have commonality with even if 
that commonality had a difference within it. And we could just listen to each other and our, our respective point of view. And then when we've said with peace, we're, we're back down to just shit that we like with each other. or Because that's how human beings used to interact. Mm -hmm. Now they don't. Every every social media platform, Twitter, uh, you know, uh, Tumblr, all of these fucking rooms, all created around engagement. And the best way to get engagement is to get people mad. Divide them. Yeah. That's what we've grown up on. And, that, and that, you put that perfectly, man. It, and it is sad. I just, ah, man. Seriously, man. If you are part of that hive mind. Shout out, Gary. Me, yeah, shout out. Uh, but if you are part of that hive mind, I know that shit ain't cool, man. That's not that's not that's not a way to live, and you don't have to live that way. You you don't have to live that way where you feel like you can't fucking be yourself. That's a miserable way to live, man. Of course Idiot. it is. But that's that's why you get people like um fucky McFuck with there, who had just been discussing that had his whole worldview annihilated when he admitted he was an ignorant twat. Yeah, and he couldn't handle that. He didn't yeah. have the he didn't have the fortitude to say, do you know what? I probably shouldn't have tried. Yeah, you're right. I, I don't have the knowledge to really chime in on this. And there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with nothing that. Nothing wrong with saying that. Nothing, there's absolutely nothing wrong with, you know, I'd be the first to say, like, hey, I, I'm ignorant on some shit. You know, I, I'd be the first to say that. If I don't know, I don't fucking know. Like I I and I, 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 I won't have some fucking strong opinion on some shit that I'm just completely out of my out of my wit on. Right now, that is me that we we go we may on the stuff that I do maybe understand that we won't have disagreement. But I for sure, if I'm like you know, some people ask me, let's say it's something about Star Wars, something going down, and I'm not knowledgeable, and I was straight up like, bro, Eddie, I don't know. I don't feel like I have to inject myself in fucking everybody's conversation. Exactly. Um, I, I don't feel that way, or I have to be a part of it. And that's unfortunately a way that some people feel. And when they do chime in, it just so happens to be perpetuating a fucking lie and that's my problem that, that that's my that's my core issue with it is that they feel like they have to perpetuate something that simply is not true it is not true and i think these people they're especially a problem because a lot of it doesn't require such vast research like we showed the guy from earlier like you you, you talking about the subscribers or me in the case where we were talking about the same starfield rent and I present it to you factually, right? Factually. Hey, here it is. It's it's right here. It's right here. You, all you have to do is click. YouTube has a cool feature. It'll take you right to the part. You don't have to do a whole lot of research. Just bam, click it right there, bam. And you'll see that that rant, that rant did not happen at, at the um at the uh character creation screen. It didn't. And to but even with presenting that, they don't stop. They stay okay. out of position. So let, let's let's um, let's take it away from Starfield and put it to Gina Carano, okay? Mm -hmm. Her anti-LGBTQ plus uh, whatever they they're stressing. What is that? The fact that she wouldn't comply and put pronouns in a bio. The fact that uh, she uh, she uh, put beat bot boop. That's anti-LGBTQ plus. The irony of that, of course, is uh, let's let's. Say Gina did it to be playful because she's a playful person. She's actually a very funny yeah, person. Cool Let's people. say she did it to be pay. Oh, you want me to put something in? Okay, I'll put, I'll put droid noises in then because mm -hmm. I'm on a show, a Star Wars show that's got fucking droids and shit. So let me put that there. How can you get mad at her for doing that when you are literally making up pronouns to call yourself? <laughs> Do you see the hypocrisy there? Well, obviously they do not. They do not see that whatsoever. Because the stuff that they make up in their eyes is valid, but the stuff that other people may make up for these Kit Kats is not valid. Funny it's it compelled works. speech. Yeah. There's only one right position to them. Them. <laughs> Anything that deviates from that is incorrect. Thanks for watching. Be sure to head over to Ripperverse.com to check out our comic book company. We have books, plenty of merchandise, and even some glorious animations from Ripperverse Studios. Next up, possibly our most anticipated book thus far, Yaira.